Hey everybody, Rock Paper Mario here, and welcome to Let's Play Pokemon Blue version, as you can see on the screen. Now I know what you guys are saying. How is he going to do another... Chancy. <laughs> How is he doing another Generation 1 Pokemon LP? Is that even allowed? I mean, I've done Pokemon Yellow twice. What am I going to do? Pokemon Blue, like, ten times or something? Well... Basically, what I decided was, I, well, well, basically what happened was, I was thinking, okay, Gen 1 Pokemon games, I love them, I love LPing them, they bring me a lot of joy to LP, um, but both of the runs of Yellow that I did, I restricted myself, so basically in the first Pokemon Yellow LP that I did, I restricted myself to only Pokemon that Ash had caught in the anime, and the second one obviously was the Pikachu solo version. Um, so what's going to be special about this um, LP, you might ask? It is going to spe be special, but instead of restricting myself, I am doing the complete opposite. I'm saying it right here, right now, in part one, so we're all on the same page. I'm going to do what this marvelous man on the screen wants me to do, and I am actually going to get all 150 original Pokémon in this LP. Um, there's one right now, but we haven't caught it yet, and it's a Nidorino, because I did not have se sexual relations with that Nidorino. <laughs> Sounds like he was almost surprised to hear that it was a Nidorino that he had sexual relations with, even though he didn't. Um, sorry, I'm not like reading this because it would be the third time that I read it. But yeah, basically I said, oh, what would be the perfect remedy to runs where I restricted myself entirely to, um, where I restricted myself entirely to a certain range of Pokemon, or even to just one? Well, the perfect remedy to that would be that I, um, do the exact opposite and just have everybody have this in the entire game. So yeah, we're going to go for like the classic version and have them all big letters, so or, and oh, another or, and then why? That was a shameless, um, shameless like hidden, intended hidden sync effort is what that was. Right, so my name is Harry because obviously I'm going to be me, and who am I going to be against? It's his grandson, he's been my rival ever since I was a baby. What is his name again? I'm going to name him Harry as well because that was something that was something I remember because I couldn't be bothered thinking of an HB H B H Barry H B Harry. No, I'm I'm gonna name him Harry as well because I remember there was like someone in the comments of the Pikachu solo run who said Joe will be brilliant if you like named Har like your main character and the rival and Pikachu if you named them all Harry that it would be really really funny and I was, and as soon as they wrote it and I read it I was like oh my god that would have been such a, a funny idea but um the time was the time had passed at that stage so I never did it so now our legend our world of dreams and adventures is about to unfold with all 150 Pokemon and two people named Harry fighting against each other to take the the crown for being a master. Harry is playing the Super Nintendo. Okay, it's time to let's go! As if we needed that Gaston and LeFou image this early in the LP. I'm wondering what I'm getting myself into. I, you might be wondering, that Harry, be, be careful, that's not even possible to to get all 150 just by LPing this game. Well, I did um, actually plan this to a certain extent because I, I actually wanted to make sure it was possible, and it will be possible. Um, I'm not sure whether I you probably guessed this because um, every Gen 1 LP that I've done, I've done in this way. Yeah, Professor Oak is next door. But I'm actually going playing this, I'm actually playing this from the cartridge. This is my original Pokemon Blue cartridge that I'm playing on from all those years ago. My original eight, seven, like 18 year old like jeez like my my Pokemon Blue cartridge could legally drink at this stage. <laughs> Technology is incredible. You can now store record items and Pokemon is a PC. 
I've decided that every fat person is going to be Lenzo, just because. Here's Professor Oak's aides, he studies Pokemon. And here's Harry. Yo, Harry! <laughs> yeah, yo, Harry, Gramps isn't around. Um, but yeah, so, but I did plan this, I have made sure that it's possible. And the fact that I'm playing it on the actual cartridge via Pokemon Stadium has a lot to do with that, a lot to do with making it possible, so yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. It's unsafe! Wild Pokemon live in tall grass! You need your own Pokemon for your protection! I know! <laughs> I know! Here, come with me! Oh god, so he's not going to get- I- I'm- like, I say- I can't remember when the last time was that I actually played through the starting sequence of Pokemon Blue. Because normally, like the last few times that I played a Gen 1 game, it was, um, it was yellow. I'm getting confused here because it looks like I'm talking, it looks like I'm saying Gramps, I'm fed up with waiting. <laughs> but it's not, it's other Harry. Harry? Let me think. Oh, that's right, I told you to come, yet just two seconds ago. Here, Harry, there are three Pokemon here. Aha! <laughs> Aha! Like the, the Harold Ziedler laugh. They are inside the Pokeballs. When I was young, I was a serious Pokemon trainer. We've read this like ten times, but we'll just go through it one more time for old time's sake. Um, so yeah, the the fact that I'm I have access to the po to Pokemon Stadium and everything is what is going to make it possible to legitimately capture the original 150 Pokemon. Yeah, what about you? You'll get your turn. Be patient. You can have one too! <laughs> I, I have a feeling that Professor Oak's voice is just very strange today. Bulbasaur? Now actually Bulbasaur was the Pokemon that I always used to pick when I was younger. He was my go-to Pokemon because I loved Bulbasaur. Um, but I think since this is the Pokemon Blue LP, I would actually like to go with Squirtle because it's something that I never really did before. It's never, like, I don't think I've ever finished a playthrough with Squirtle as my main character. Like, even in the Pokemon Yellow LP, I, I disregarded Squirtle in favor of Kingler the first time that I did it. And in the second one, I only used him for to use Dig and Surf. So, yeah, we're going to take Squirtle because this is going to be the mascot run, <laughs> is what this is going to be. And I received a Squirtle, so this is the first one, this is Pokemon number one on our way to 150. Yeah, nickname. Oh, here we go. Remember this from the Pokemon Silver days, me trying to think of a nickname? Bob. Well, no, but not Bob, because that's like the first name that pops into your head. It's also the, the, the name of the file that I erased was Bob, was the name of the character was Bob, so maybe I will name him Bob. I will go lowercase for the Pokemon's names. Bob. Yeah, Bob. Bob. Stop, stop. Bob. Um. Bob Pataki. Big Bob. Big Bob Pataki. The Beeper King is what he is going to be. I have decided right now, and it fits in. Bob Pataki. So he's that big white belt dad. <laughs> I remember, there's this one line in, there's this one hilarious line in, in this brilliant episode of Hey Arnold. Oh look, other Harry got a Bulbasaur. Um, there's this one hilarious line in this brilliant episode of Hey Arnold, and it's the one where like, Big Bob is spending quantity time with his daughter Helga. And there are just a million funny lines in a single episode. Um, but <laughs> there's like one hilarious line where he brings her belt shopping. Like of all the things. Yeah, let's see how the Beeper King fares against Bulbasaur here. Um, there's this one, they go belt shopping of all things. And he's like, you can never have enough big white belts, Helga. Remember that, like big white belts, like you can never have enough big white belts. And I remember my brother was trying to, cause, cause I remember there's this other part in that same episode where, 
whatever. I have defense, but not if you use a critical hit. Um, there's this other part in that one episode where Big Bob Pataki says, like, doesn't know what age Helga is, and he's like, what are you, four or something? Or like, what are you, six or something? And she's like, I'm nine, Dad. And there's this one day when I, like, said to, I, I got my brother's age wrong. I was like, what are you, like, you're, you're like 14. And he was like, he, he was like, you're, he couldn't think of Bob Pataki's name. So he said, you're as bad as that big white belt's dad. <laughs> Which I just thought was really funny. Like, what a thing to say. You're as bad as that big white belt's dad. <laughs> Well look, the Beeper King completely roasted Bulbasaur here and Bob Pataki grew to level 6. <laughs> Harry defeated Harry. I'm defeating my inner demons here. What? Inconceivable! I do not think that means what you think it means. <laughs> oh my god, I, I'm like... Th this is the game, like, you might remember in, in Shenmue 2 I was debating, okay... There's like something that I really like to start. Yeah, make it fight to toughen it up. Do that. Harry Gramps Smellulator. I could say exactly the same thing and it would still be accurate. So, Oakma Man, lay it on me. Raise your young Pokemon by making it fight. So, yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, we, we know. I know! <laughs> but, um. Yeah, this was the LP, this was the project in, in Shenmue 2, when I was like, oh, um, wait a second, is he the guy who gives me the potion? Yeah, it is. Um, I was talking about, there's this project that I've been wanting to start for a long time, and, but I'm not sure whether it would be the most sensible idea, and blah, and then, do you know what, then, then I was thinking afterwards, there's this part in... There's this one video in my Ocarina of Time LP, and it's in when I'm in the Shadow Temple. Dude, I'm just gonna run from you, because I'm gonna see plenty of you anyway. I'm gonna have to catch one of you. I'm not going to be allowed to run away from the Ratatas and the Pidgeys, because I'm gonna have to catch one. And I'm gonna have to think of names for all of them. <laughs> this is going to be terrible. Um, but, um... We might as well do the do things do things the right way and go up and see why we can't just leave Viridian City. You can't go through here. This is private property. This, this is get off of my property, fuzzy lumpkins. What does your granddaughter have to say about this? Don't be so mean. He hasn't had his coffee yet. Oh well. Um. There's this episode of my Ocarina of Time LP where I'm in the Shadow Temple and it's at the time when I'm debating whether oh, here we get Oak's pornography because we was at we were at a pornography store. We were buying pornography. It's Oak's mysterious parcel. It's Delivians! It's probably his like plutonium or uranium or whatever. And we just picked it up. What if the Libyans come after us? We're just gonna skip all this grass because there's no point in going through it until we can actually catch the goddamn things. Um, and, and it was at the time what was weighing on my mind was whether or not to LP Mario Galaxy. And I, I think that's what it was anyway. And I remember in that, I remember watching the video back, like that, when I was editing it, and I just got so annoyed with myself, being, be, the way I was carrying on, like, oh, I don't know whether I should LP it, and I don't know whether I should start that project, and blah, 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 yakety schmackety. And I was like, and I titled the video, just LP it already, as in just, just shut up and do it, so... Do you know what? I'm going to strike while the iron is hot here. I'm going to do it now. I want to do it now, so I'm going to do it now. Bob Pataki isn't old. He's the Beeper King. You watch your mouth. You must be talented as a Pokemon trainer. What? You have something for me? Yeah, it's your pornography. You were buying pornography. This is the custom Pokemon. This is a thing called a present. Thank you. 
for releasing me. I'm pretty sure I said that in the Pokemon LP as well. Pokemon Yellow Solo LP as well. What what did you call me for? Alright. Well, this is the request, and like this is probably the first time I would ever say that I was intent on fulfilling this request. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia! <laughs> Stu, what is up with this voice? It's just like... Rrr, rrr, rrr. It sounds like Fozzy, but not Fozzy Bear, like Chewbacca the Wookie or something. We got the Pokedex from Oak. It begins... To make a complete guide on all the Pokemon in the world. That was my dream! Wonderful! But I'm too old, I can't do it. So, I want you two to fulfill my dream for me. <laughs> Get moving, you two. This is a great undertaking in Pokemon history. <laughs> all right, Grams, leave it all to me. <laughs> Why does he talk like that all of a sudden? I hate to say it, but I don't need you. I know, I'll borrow a town map from my sis. Well, I'm not going to do that because I know where I'm going. Look at him, he's all like, ha 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 ha. I love how he's saying all this in front of Professor Oak, and Professor Oak is just like, oh yeah, boys will be boys, my grandson will be a jerk, that's just the way the cookie crumbles. Yet yeah, he's right, all the Pokemon of the world are awaiting me. Well, aren't you going to give me five Pokeballs? Oh no, we actually have to buy them in this game. Well, we've caught our first Pokemon, the first Pokemon of many to be caught in this LP. So, um, and, and now that we have the Pokedex, our journey has officially begun. We are going to be, just to reiterate, catching all 150 Pokemon in this LP of Pokemon Blue. I almost called it Pokemon Baloo. <laughs> <laughs> the, because we're getting more than the bare necessities, we're getting all of them. Um, what I've done is I've actually created a new page for the infamous shared numbers document, where I'm going to log each and every Pokemon that I catch, what its name is, the circumstances under which I caught and which video I caught it in, just to count them all and keep track of it. So go to the shared numbers document in the description, I called it Captain's Log, I've changed the name of it or whatever, so... Um, go to that and you can keep an eye on how far we've got and all the Pokemon that we have caught in this wonderful LP of Wonderment. So yeah, thanks for watching part one of what I'm sure is going to be a stellar project. Um, I'll see you next time. Bye now.